Hello everyone, and welcome back to the walkthrough! Whoa! How did we get out of there so fast? Wasn't there a couple other rooms? Someone must have cut that video. Alright, so anyways... <laughs> our next destination is gonna be... It's gonna be... Actually, we kind of have no other choice. GR Electric Fortress, because it's the only place that our gold bat coin fits in. So, should I use it? Nah. Okay, 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 fine, fine. So here we are! <laughs> Thank you for visiting. This is Team GR's Electric Fortress. Allow me to tell you about your opponents and explain the rules. The leader of the Electric Forest is a woman named Catherine. In order to fight her, you must first defeat two GR Fortress members. You'll learn about each member's special battle rules inside. That is all. Please enjoy dueling in Team GR's Electric Fortress. Thank you! I appreciate it. So, we got a little storyline going on here. By the way, some nice electrical stuff going on. We got a storyline between Chubby Child in here, which is a girl and so about that dumb Dark Raichu level 31 card. Is if anyone help her make a deck to join Team GR. And this continues on over here. She's like, hey, can I ask a favor of you? See that mean guy over there? <laughs> He refuses to trade with me. If you have what I need, can we trade? If I can't build my deck, I can't join Team GR. Did you have a Dark Raichu level 31? Do you? All I have is a Pikachu level 16. Please trade with me. That's a rare Pikachu card, yeah. Um... I still haven't really showed off Dark Raichu, did I? So maybe... At least I... Do I have... I'm pretty sure I have Dark Raichu. I thought I did. Oh, I don't. Okay. I thought I got... Oh, maybe I'm thinking of my other save. Okay, so I don't even, don't even have that. Man. Man. Lightning woman! <laughs> you know, Imakuni? That man certainly makes me blush. I've been waiting for him here since he shows up in random places. Aren't you from my home island? I believe your name's Mint. So then, Mint, are you wondering why I'm here? I've come on a personal quest to get, to get my cards back from Team GR. Granted, it's impossible to fight Team GR without any cards. What counts is that I'm here, trying my best against these guns. <laughs> I guess you, you could do it the old-fashioned way. With the fists! <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, my story has gotten a bit too long, eh? If you can't tell, I do like to talk. Um, okay, I just wanted to see if there's something else there. And this last guy... Oh, if it isn't Mint, the kid that beat the Grandmasters. I've heard rumors about you. What are you doing here, though? I guess I should introduce myself first, hey? Name's Peter. I came to this island because Team GR fascinates me. I've been having battles with many different Team GR members. I'm about to compile a cool deck for my victories. Care to have a duel? If you beat me, I'll give you a booster pack or two. No. Okay, oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Just keep me in mind if you're ever looking for a rousing card battle. Uh, hello there, Mint. Have you come to duel me? You up for a card battle anytime? You're ready to fight? Yes, this time! Good to hear, we'll use four prize cards. Bench, Peril Deck, and as per the name, is gonna be trying to attack my bench Pokemon, so there's no way to hide. But luckily, I have my water energy this time. <laughs> uh, I think I'm gonna start with Squirtle. And plop the Magikarp to try and do a rapid evolution. A little bit later on, if I don't draw an evolution, you know. But you will see how things go. I'm just gonna first, all oh, poopers. I'm just gonna first focus on my Squirtle here and see how things turn out. Professor Oak might may very well just give me uh, Gyarados or Dark Gyarados anyway, but eh, eh, we'll see. Alright, uh, we'll plop down the Squirtle, and that's about it, isn't it? <sighs> <laughs> oh, he is not happy about that draw whatsoever. He turned his back to us. It's like, I can't even look her in the eye. <laughs> well, that works in my favor. So two of my attacks will dock out that Dratini. I think I should probably... Well, maybe not. Maybe I'll hold on to that. And I think I'll just shell attack for now. And just, yeah, I, I, I'll worry about energy- Oh, You... You copied my plan. I was gonna say, you know, for the future, but... Well... <laughs> well... Okay, so yeah, it looks like he is planning to evolve Dratini based on the overabundance of energy cards. A little critter is getting there, so... We shall see- Ooh! Hungry... Snorlax... 
but on their end. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't. I see. I just don't see the point. But I'm just gonna knock it out anyway, you know. <laughs> so that's like a triple energy removal there. <laughs> uh, now I guess I could keep the Dratini down because uh, it doesn't have the energy to attack. Then by the time I wipe it out, so yeah, I just gotta set that bad boy up. Um, might as well get Hungry Snorlax set up there too. You don't think I could get two plus powers out of that? Like if I use Professor Oak, do you? And just win this turn? Nah, probably not. <laughs> I, I don't think I'm that lucky, because I only got the one other one in the deck. Uh, wow. Okay, uh, I, 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 I win anyway. <laughs> uh, maybe I should give him another shot. <laughs> uh, that was, yeah, I think that was a little bit too easy. <laughs> you can't look at me again. <laughs> oh, jeez. Ah! Oh, oh uh, please excuse me. Guess I lost. I'll give you your booster packs immediately. Yay, legend! <laughs> Do -do -do -do. Oh yes! One of the greatest lightning Pokémon ever! One for ten in paralysis, like the Magmar, you know, with the smoke screen, and Thunder Punch for two, always 30, may do ten more, maybe do a little Backlash 10, but 70 HP, yeah, so it can be used for stall as well as offense. Another Magmar of that variety, another plus power Pokemon Center. Wait, a show. Uh, yeah, I did. Okay. <laughs> oh, and Premiere. I see. I see. Ooh. It takes a lot of energy cards. This Poopers got a lot of Scoopers to power. Yeah, Thunderbolt is like a last ditch resort, so I would prefer. The other attack, if you don't mind, for the most part, but, well, but, well, yeah, Professor Oak. You know, I should really, now that I'm getting more of these sorts of duplicate cards, I could probably happily build two separate decks, you know, rather than having to flop back over to uh, Mason Laboratory to switch decks qu quickly. I may just do that, like, between this part and the next part, but for now, let's continue. <laughs> uh, oh, there's a Star Me, so now I can plop that in with the Star You. Uh, well, you know, putting the star you back in, but anyway. <laughs> uh, there we go. Yeah, if you'd up, you'd up, if you'd up, if you'd be up for it, I'd love a rematch sometime. Uh, you meant, oh, it's the same dialogue. Yes, alright. So, as I was saying, this is something that you could do if you wanted to, is just repeatedly battle characters to grind for cards, but I find it unnecessary for just beating the game, you know? So, for the most part, I won't be doing this unless there is some sort of peril that like <laughs> that they have early game and then I wipe them out way too quickly or something like that. Uh, it just, it, I don't know, it just doesn't feel right to not really show off the entirety of the deck, you know? <laughs> uh, so he's got a whole load of Snorlax hanging out here. <laughs> uh, I'll just go ahead and tackle. That Snorlax is not going to last too long and I get to Razor Leaf, it's only going to be two more, wait, yeah, three more turns, actually. I was gonna say two more turns after I attack, which, well, is three more turns, but I already attacked this turn, so yeah, it would be three, but yeah, double colorless he's got there for the speedy sneakiness, and I'm gonna do uh, the razor attackiness. He's got the body slam, which can cause paralysis, but I'm not really too concerned about that right now, and he's just got a, yeah, you, you probably would have I mean, it's very unlikely that he would have two double colorless energy, you know what I mean? Um, I should probably get the other Bulbasaur set up there. I could do a sneaky move here and swap to this Snorlax that he's not powering up, and then Razor Leaf, because then that other Snorlax won't be able to body slam, and this Snorlax will have difficulty retreating. So, let's just give that a shot and see how things roll. Energy removal, I see, a very good card. And the turn is a done. Uh, actually, I don't... Uh, do I want to... Hmm, do I want to save this for the other Bulbasaur? Or I probably want to continue Razor Leafing. So I think I'll be able to wipe out the Snorlax thusly, as long as I keep it down and yeah. You know, we'll see here. So that's this Snorlax is going to be a threat still. Uh, I should probably, hopefully, get a 
Dark Gyarados flopped out onto the field if at all possible, but for now let's Razor Leaf and call it a turn with a prize to boot. Okay, there's another grass. Very nice. Dratini. Ooh, Zapdos bench attacker. <laughs> and yeah, it's a thunderstorm, Zapdos. Mm, nope. Eh -eh. And you know, I could plus power that. <laughs> so many options of destruction. Uh, no, I think I'm gonna do that as a little sneak attack. Because he's uh, getting that Jatini potentially powered up for something, like maybe the Hyper Beam Dragonair, so he can't have that now, can we? Okay, so he's gonna go for the Body Slam now, yada yada yada. It doesn't matter if he gets Paralysis, because it will KO Bulbasaur regardless, but... I have another waiting in the wings, as per my dastardly plan. Uh, oh yes, yes, Squirtle of that variety can do some stalling, but for now let's continue our Razor Leaf assaults. Uh, give the Snorlax paper cuts like it's never seen before. Well, it's more like leaf cuts. Although leaves come from trees and paper comes from trees. So maybe they are one and the same, secretly. Disappointing paralysis. <laughs> uh, but I can't get... This Squirtle going here, and call it a turn. Yeah, yeah, I know I got the um, Gyarados possibly to work with there too, but I just, yeah, I want to kind of stall a little bit more with the uh, Squirtle if at all possible. Just because I don't, I don't, yeah, I want to have a more balanced side if that makes sense. Uh, Ivy so I could have had that last turn. Uh, <laughs> uh, let's see here. Oops. I'm gonna go... I'm thinking I should actually do that, do that, and then just do a little nippy nip here. Yeah, that sounds like the best plan. Come on, water energy! Oh. Well, I will accept that fish with open arms for a Zapdos is a common- OH NO! So that's his plan, it's the Dark Dragonair, and yeah, he could potentially plop out a whole bunch of evolution cards with that Dark Dragonair, and he will with the Dark Dragonite, but we'll see if that becomes an issue. Because that Zapdos is kinda, kinda, yeah, it takes a while to power up, and the Dark Dragonite's not really that powerful per se, so to speak. So I think I'm good for now. I should probably do that just for this the future there. Uh, plop another Magikarp and bite away. Uh, you might decide to retreat Zapdos and go into Dark Dragonite because I'm putting pressure on. Wow, really? You didn't use the recycle energy on the Zapdos to retreat into something else, even though you know I'm gonna be able to knock it out with War Total's bites. Okay, you deserve to lose this game. <laughs> I regret battling you again. <laughs> yeah, that was a that was a very poor decision. Uh, let's see, a regular Dragonite's got the step in. You may freely switch in and slam two coins. 40 times number of heads, 100 HP, so it's pretty lasting, but kind of inconsistent with its attack power. And uh, the da -ba -da -da -da, Paris of the extended, you got the poisons, and you got the leech life equal to the damage done, rather than like half or something like that, like other leechers. So this could be pretty beneficial to the Parasect, especially since it has 60 HP, which is just out of range of a lot of stuff that can attack at like the 30, 40, 50 range, as I mentioned before. So that could not- it's not too bad. I got another energy removal, very nice. Uh, oh yeah, I already did that. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, I definitely look like I can build a couple of spare decks on the side there, so I, I'm, I'm considering doing that off-camera for realsies now. Um, beautiful, beautiful card, if you've ever seen this IRL. Uh, Aurora Beam for 50, Ice Beam for 30. So it's got its own utilities depending on the energy cost, and 80 HP is pretty decent. I would play it. Uh, energy retrieval is go go. Okay. Uh huh, uh huh. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> we, we soundly beat him. 
So now we can head on into here and see what's up. Oh, uh, um, uh, oh, uh, hello there. My name's Cassie. If you could beat me in a card battle, you can enter the next room. But I have requests of all challenges must agree on first. Sorry. Please decode four Pikachu cards in your active deck before we start. Yep. Special rule time. I don't mean flying Pikachu either, just regular cute Pikachu cards. Are we gonna do that and have a duel with me? No. I'd like if you could put four Pikachu cards in your deck. Those are my conditions as a member of Team GR's Electric Fortress. Uh, it's the same thing. I just want to see if I say yes. Uh, you don't have enough Pikachu cards in your deck, I'm afraid. I'd like your deck to have four Pikachu cards in it before you battle. Please do me a favor and put them in your deck. So... I'm thinking I will... Uh, save this to... Uh, did, I, did I save this before to the... No, I didn't. Okay. So I'm gonna save that just, just for the sake of saving it for later. And we're gonna go and do a little deck of modification. Oh no! No, 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 no! Shooty, shoot! Are you kidding me? I don't have four Pikas. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> Um, well, I guess I could go battle someone until I get a Pika. Oh yeah, I thought I had an enough in my inventory. Hmm. Hmm, I'm gonna have to take a look-see around here really quick. Uh, like, you know, there's that special Pikachu down here, but I don't have the Dark Raichu, remember, so. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna go in the PC and check out the card album here. Yeah, you can see all the stuff here of where cards came from what, so if I were to take a Pixie down and say the premiere, then I would just, uh, see there's a Pikachu in here, so I would just battle, oops, uh, there's a Pikachu in here and I would just battle someone who gives a premiere booster pack over and over until I get one. So I may just do that. I got a premiere booster pack from Eren, playing the step two for the heck of it, and nothing. Really? All that for a fish? Oh, you don't get... Oh, I thought you get Premier Booster Packs and beating him on Stage 3 as well. Well, I... <laughs> oh yeah, this, uh... Hitmonlee... 20... Number of heads and paralysis... Up, 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 uh, okay. On your for one ring? No! Step 4. Still not unlocked. Another attempt at step 2. Let's see what we got here. Rare Dog Tree. Oh. Uh, wow. Please give me a Pikachu card. This time it's a freaking common. <laughs> oh, come on. <sighs> please, please, please. Please... Oh, I got a Professor Oak, that's nice. Uh, uh, still no, and I got another Professor Oak at least. <laughs> here we go again! Uh, come on, come and Pikachu. Wow. <laughs> come and Pikachu, come and Pi... Wait, are these just... Am I getting the same cards, or...? I don't know, this... Huh. Hmm... I think I might be. Okay, Matthew. You have Premier Booster Packs! Let's go! Booster, 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 come on, come on, come on, here we go. Please, Pikachu, please. <laughs> How many Gyarados can I get? There we go! <laughs> Thank Arceus! <laughs> I've never had to actually grind for cards like that before in this game. We back, boys! And the reason why I typically... Well, Never had to actually grind that I remember for cards because when they ask for me to put cards in my deck, they're all common cards. So yeah, <laughs> so I don't. Yeah, uh, I guess I'll balance it like that then. You know, I'll just do this off camera. <laughs> okay, here's what I did. I'm just not really caring at this moment in time. I got those freaking. Electric rodents in there! I got that right, she's a scene! And I got the new Electabuzz over the other Electabuzz. I already went over that bad boy. I balanced the Abracadabra like this because I, I, I was just lacking in space and patience. I've waited long enough for this! 
<laughs> and I set up those as such. Yeah, I, I don't feel like even swapping out the energy removal from another deck, because I'm pretty sure I'm going to win this anyway, so... <laughs> Uh, um, hello there. My name is Cassie. If you can beat me in a card valley connection, then yeah, you heard this actually. As same dialogue, yes. You have four Pikachu cards, right? Thank you very much. As for prize cards, please place four, okay? All this for a four prize card doodle. <sighs> Pikachu Zapper deck is a go. <laughs> uh, I'm back to a better mood. That is. That monstrosity! <laughs> I don't have energy cards. Um, I guess I might as well put a duplicate of something then. And see how things turn out in the future. I got the Jolteon combined with Eevee as you've seen there, so... Might be able to utilize that? I don't know, we'll see. I'll focus on building some better decks off camera. I'm pretty sure I'll be able to win this, because this is actually a pretty easy duel in general, so... I'm not, not too concerned about how things are gonna go, you know? <laughs> There's actually zero um, basic Pokémon on her bench, so I might actually be able to finish this early. Depends on what she has out of this. Uh, I could set up the... Because she's gonna she's a probably Thunder Punch no matter what. Well, I'll do that. And, you know, I... I, I, I just want more energy, you know? <laughs> I also might get that Raichu. Well, the three Raichu. I got other version of Eevee I plopped in here, um, didn't really show this tackle, sand attack, can potentially stop all the attackers, and yeah, oh hell. Alright, we get energy removal, and okay, that, that, that we can work, but that's the only one in my deck, that was too lazy. Um, so yeah, we'll plop that on the bench for future Jolteon endeavors, and... Should probably go ahead and try for the paralysis. Because yeah, I think Abra's probably gonna be attacked again anyway, so let's go. Not in the mood to be attacked after that. <laughs> I hate grinding! And it really shouldn't have said I mean it wouldn't shouldn't have been set up that way either. Like, because that's a common Pikachu, as I mentioned. I should have gotten one in all the premier booster packs that I got by now, but no, no. <laughs> it's just gonna be me ranting and being toxic the rest of the part now. <laughs> I'll try I'll try not to be. Because I just used a bunch of cuts there. So the the wait time that you seen was not like the wait time <laughs> that I had. <laughs> okay, paralysis. I'll I will take that this time. I can I, I will accept this, because I got a Mewtwo waiting in the wings. Um, well, actually, I got a whole bunch of poop to go with here. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna use energy removal to bring back that psychic energy for Mewtwo in the future. Because as you see, Mewtwo's got the Super Psy for 50. That will wipe out the Electabuzz pretty good. <laughs> and we shall see how things turn out from there. And Thunder Punch, yeah, that's what I thought she was going for. Because, yeah, she could power up Electabuzz, it doesn't matter how healthy Abra is, it's just a one-hit KO no matter what. A little self-damage though, which is not really that useful to me in this case. But I will... Oh, yes! But I will, um, energy retrieval that. Grab that Psychic. Yeah, you cannot bring back the energy card that you just discarded. It's a part of the card's cost, but that's not what I was going for anyway. I was going for the Super Psy, because I gotta get rid of this powerhouse of a basic Pokémon here, so... Now we're in pretty good position for a victory. Another Electabuzz on the bench. Another Elect- Holy- how, What?! <laughs> I remember this game being- or this duel being easy! This might actually be a little bit on the dangerous side here. Alright, let's get this Q-Bone out of here. And... Continue on with the continuing on of this hopefully sweeping. Uh, I, I don't have any more energy removal, so I'm just gonna have to deal with that and hope some self damage haps out, out of this. Nope. Ooh, that's not good. That is not good. <laughs> I got my own Electabuzz, but still. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna also. I just wanna power that up in the future. I mean, I know I'm gonna do that regardless of what I draw. Uh, okay, I could get a Haunter going. And Super Psy for now. 
Okie dokie. It may knock out Mewtwo, it may not. We'll see how things turn out. Uh, if it gets tails, it will not. Oh, it got heads. Scoopers, scoopers. <sighs> Poor Mewtwo. Poor Mewtwo. We are back to regular prize cards amounts. Alright, I'll go to Electabuzz then. And begin the huntering. Actually, should I? Yeah, I probably should. Just for the extra HP at the very least. And Thunder Punch will finish it off. Don't get tails. Dang it. <laughs> That's okay. I still have 60 HP to spare. And she's got a... She, well, she could probably put out something. Yeah, well, like, potentially that has a resistance. Because she's got the ground Pokemon. Like, like the Sandshrew here. But it's kind of... I, I don't know. It's kind of late for that. I, <laughs> uh, yeah, I guess now she, I'm in a... I'm in a position where I can knock out the Sandshrew then. Because, yeah, I think Haunter is, uh... Yeah, the... Well... Yeah, because I think I'm just going to end up... I pro... Mm, mm, I, I can't, like... Yeah, I, yeah, I can't leave Electabuzz out there. It's too risky. we got to put in Haunter. <laughs> and... Nightmare. Come on. Sleep. Oh. <laughs> I tried. <laughs> Now, this is kind of an issue, though, um... Well, I mean, the, uh... Oh, I was gonna say, because she could still retreat, but I guess not. Because if she was sleeping, she could attempt the retreat. But it looks like the... Oh, okay, that's fine. That's fine, we're good. We're good, we, we won! <laughs> we can end off this part now. <laughs> but yeah, I, I was expecting her to attempt a retreat, even with confusion, because Sansu's in a bad position. But she did not, and victory goes to my ragtag, just thrown together deck. <laughs> I didn't think he could win. I thought, oh well, I lost. Rocket booster pack, and watch me get some Pikachu. <laughs> Dark last eyes. I should actually use the boss's way whenever I use Dark Pokemon, because that's just like an instant evolution. Very powerful. Ooh, Max Revive! Ooh, this is from the uh, Gym Challenge set. Well, at least it was released later in the Gym Challenge set, but this is in the Extended series. Um, it's got two energy cards from your hand. But, you can plop any basic Pokémon from your discard pile of your bench. But the thing about this sort of revive is that you, you have full health, not half health like regular revive. Full health. So this could be something that you might want to consider depending on the energy costs of your Pokémon. Just saying? <laughs> uh, let's see what else we got here. Speedball Voltorb. That's gonna be a problem soon enough, as I mentioned. Mint, you're really strong, aren't you? You have my respect. Even more so since you freely came to GR Island and you're fighting alone. That takes some real courage. I like to be courageous, too. I'm going to try my best to be just as brave as you. Alright! Now do I put the password so the doors will open? Hmm? The next room is guarded by Chip. We also have a Grandmaster there. Ooh! I'm fairly certain it's Steve, which would make sense, because, you know, electric Pokémon are in the around this area, but... <laughs> Please try your best, as Chip is a strong card player. And with that, I'm gonna end off the part here. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part, when there will not anymore! Card Booster Pack Grinding! <laughs>